Hello, I'm Ken with Orion Telescopes and Binoculars, and this is the Orion BX 90mm refractor. It's a, well, I just said 90mm diameter, uh, but a little bit shorter focal length than some of the 90mm refractors you might be used to. Uh, a lot of them are in the 900mm focal length range, so a little bit higher magnification with a specific eyepiece, but a narrower field of view. Well, this is 600 millimeters, and it's f 6.7. So with any specific eyepiece, you're going to get a little bit lower power, but a little bit wider field of view as well. So if you're just starting out, if you're an entry-level astronomer, one of the hardest things to do is find objects in the night sky. And with the wider field of view that this 90 provides, it's easier to sweep up those objects and, and locate them quickly. So the, the BX90 refractor is on this equatorial mount, and that's designed to track along with the night sky once you've polar aligned it. So it, uh, uh, you aim it this way towards Polaris. There's a latitude scale on the side here for finding your, your latitude. And you point this thing northwards, and then you can unlock it here and here, move the telescope around to get the general area that you want to see. So let's just say the moon's right over here somewhere. Get it fairly close, lock it down, and then you can use these slow motion control knobs here on the side. This is north and south, and this is east and west, and fine tune the positioning. Uh, to get the object right in the middle of the field of view. And since this is an equatorial mount, once you've polar aligned it, once you've centered it, you just have to twist this one knob here, the right ascension knob, to tr allow the mount to follow the object as it moves through the night sky. So um, if I was looking at the moon here, I just have to give this a twist every minute or maybe less, depending on how much power I'm looking at, and it'll keep the object right in the field of view. The telescope comes with several accessories to get you started. Uh, first of all, you have a finder scope to help aim the telescope. It's a reflex sight. So when you look through it, you'll see a little red dot floating in the sky. Just put the dot on the object you want to see, and then it'll be right in the field of view of your eyepiece here. Uh, speaking of eyepieces, it comes with a, a 90 degree elbow, so you're not climbing underneath looking up into the sky. It's a comfortable angle. And you get two eyepieces, a 25 and a 10 millimeter uh, Kellner. The, um, 25 is the low power, and the 10 is the high power. So you always want to start with your 25 to locate something, center it up, and then you can move to the higher power 10 millimeter to, to really zoom in. Uh, on the side, on the, the bottom of the tripod, there's this tray here, and it's got cutouts for your eyepieces. So when I'm using uh, one eyepiece, I can just store the other one here. You might uh, find that you get a Barlow lens or maybe some uh, other diagonals. You can store them all right here. And then below the equatorial mount is the tripod itself. It's aluminum uh, uh, construction, aluminum legs. Uh, it's nice and solid. Uh, the entire thing weighs about 15 and a half pounds, so it's, it's pretty portable. And then, of course, you can break it down by uh, popping the optical tube off, taking the head off, uh, folding the legs up. So it's nice and compact and, and, and fairly portable. And then on the bottom of the feet, you've got your choice of either the rubber pad, or if you unscrew it and uh, raise it up, you've got a, uh, a spike, which will grab into grass or dirt uh, a bit better than just the rubber sitting on the, on the soil. All right, so that's the setup and what comes with the telescope, the BX 90 millimeter refractor. Now, what can you see with it? So a 90 millimeter lets in a good amount of light. It's much, uh, much brighter, much higher resolution than your average entry level 50 or 60 millimeter refractor. So there's, there's lots of things in the night sky you can see. Uh, Primarily, with a refractor like this, you get excellent views of the moon and planets. So craters on the moon, zooming in on individual mountain ranges, uh, this will look beautiful uh, looking at objects like that. Uh, in the solar system, you can see uh, the rings of Saturn, uh, the moons around Jupiter. With a higher power eyepiece and maybe even adding on higher magnification than what comes with it, you can really get in and see the, the uh, cloud bands on Jupiter and details on the rings of Saturn. In the deep sky, um, further away from the solar system, you can get into some of the brighter uh, deep sky objects. So uh, star clusters, brighter nebula, uh, the Messier objects are within range of a scope like this, uh, provided you can get away from some of the city lights out there. If you're in the downtown area, it might be a little difficult to do that, uh, but moon and planets would be fine. So if you can get away from the city lights, you can see the Orion Nebula, the Andromeda Galaxy, uh, many, many uh, different star clusters. Uh, the, the Messier list is about 110 of the best and brightest deep sky objects, and you'd see a good uh, portion of those with a scope like this. All right, well, there you have it. This is the BX90 refractor on an equatorial mount. Thank you very much. Clear skies.